up? Welcome to In the Garage. Today is Wednesday, August 1st, and we have Brandon Jordan from LA-based Kill Radio in the studio for an interview, and you're going to do an acoustic performance after this, right? Yeah. That's cool. So I actually read somewhere that, and I don't know if this is where you got like the Kill Radio band name, but I read somewhere where there's a quote or there's a lyric in one of your songs that says that uh, radio is made for music and now music is made for radio, or you got that from somewhere? Uh, no, it, uh, they made radio for the music, now they just make music for the radio. And uh, no, it's just something that can't, I, I don't know, like that I was thinking about when I was listening to the radio and I mean there was a block of songs and I just didn't like any one of them. Yeah, I don't listen to the radio. <laughs> um, and uh, and at the time I was just thinking about, you know, like they made radio so you could listen to like music, you know, and now they make just music to get onto the radio, to get to the people. And so I don't know, I think it came from just like um, Kill Radio was never that we didn't want to be on the radio but when we were on the radio it's um we were able to actually like get to the people and talk to people and we were kind of like killing out all the other competition when they're playing our song okay so you're saying because i thought it you, i see how it could go like the other way it's like kill radio because it's screwing up music because it's kind of like downing the quality of music I feel because everyone's so worried about like writing the hit song or doing whatever and so they're kind of sacrificing music being artistic or music having a message and they just want it to like be catchy or right yeah I thought it was uh, it was unfortunate because like I, I think um, you got to stand for something you just got to stand for something I don't know what it is but we stand for something and we wanted to say it you know, and there's just like a lot of songs without a point of view. And Definitely. I'm like, Where, where's this guy coming from? And, and I want to know more about like these people that are singing these songs to me instead of just like glossy, um, just glossy production. I totally agree. If you're wondering what Kill Radio sounds like, the last video that you just saw, Do You Know, was their video, um, if you didn't notice the tag. Um, so you guys are releasing an EP shortly right yes after i guess it's long awaited and it's not on columbia this time right no. you've been doing everything yourself for a while yeah we've um we've done everything ourselves we recorded it we've um it's it was much better this time um the, the name of the ep is good americans and it's got five songs on it um most of the things um most of the songs we actually spent a good deal of time in canada and when we were in Canada, we felt like, like we had to tell Canadians, oh, we're, we're the good Americans, yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, totally. <laughs> I had to do that in Europe with this Australian. I had to sit there and explain, like, why we're not all, like, people from Texas. I'm sorry if you're from Texas and you're watching this and you're A-OK, -okay, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's, and you feel like it's your, like, responsibility to, like, yeah, explain like, that we don't you know, all we're, suck. We're good. We didn't, we didn't necessarily vote in uh, Bush. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's kind of where the name of the EP came from, you know, Good Americans, and you know, like beyond beyond being like musicians and you know friends and and like you know my mom's son. I mean, we want to be good citizens, you know. I mean, uh, I I I think I live in a great country. I think it does some bad things, but. Um, I need to take responsibility for my own actions and be a good citizen. And then that's when I feel I deserve the really good things that this country has, all the opportunities, being on television, being able to be in a rock band, you know, it's, it's, it's awesome. But also I feel like you can't really complain about all the bad things unless you're being a good American. Like if you're just kind of don't have an opinion or, or whatever and you just like complain about how you don't like anything. Like you can have a general like disdain for what's going on, but at the same time, I don't. I feel like a lot of people have like very strong opinions either way, and they haven't researched like anything or whatever. So, do you have like because you're a, a political band, so do you have any like resources or whatever that you would direct anyone that's watching to to maybe become a little bit more learned on politics um, and political situations? I think um, I think there's some great. Um, you know the newspaper the newspaper is a very interesting way to see how how 
the world is working. You know, and there's a lot of newspapers outside of America that report on the big things going on. And these are uh, well-established journalists. They just happen to live outside of the, um, the United States, like, say, The Guardian in um, England. Um, I think that's a great paper. Um, you know, it's a little conservative, but you, you get a point of view that's outside of America. You know, there's some things, I think, here in America that we believe, and then you get outside of America, and people are like, you believe that? Like, it, it, they almost, like, scoff and laugh yeah. at it. <laughs> And um, so just like getting a point of view from people that live outside of America on global events is, is really interesting. No, definitely. I had a roommate that was from Germany and he was just always like, I can't find a good paper here. They're all like, they only tell one side or whatever. It's just like the view is so like streamlined in one direction. So because over there they have like papers. I mean, they're still like conservative, like you said, and everything, but they have more like varying points of view, I think. I think that we're kind of stuck. Right. Um, so you picked a couple of videos, and we're going to watch some of them now. Um, and the next ones up are people that you have worked with or collaborated with and done some vocals on their stuff. Yeah. Um, it's uh, the Zionai the Zion crew from um, the Bay Area. Um, I was able to be on um, this one track of theirs on their last album called America. And they were just, I've always been a fan of theirs, and they started coming out to our shows when we were in the Bay Area, and we just started linking up, and we hung out a couple times, and freestyled, and it was just really a lot of fun. And then they called me up for this last album that Zion and I did with the Grouch from The Living Legends, so it was kind of like an L.A. Bay Area collaboration, which was really cool. And they've been, um, you know, they're a hip-hop band, but they've been really getting into punk rock, you know, where uh, we were coming from. And uh, they want, we kind of wanted to flip uh, this Clash song. Um, and I, I kind of put the guitar on there and we did some vocals and it's called Trigger. And it was just, it's just really cool, you know, like that's punk rock to me when you can clash the sounds of hip hop and, you know, drum and bass and punk rock culture and smash it all up together and you have this new thing. To me, that's kind of punk rock, just that, that kind of uh, approach. Well, I think a lot of like hip-hop is kind of coming from the same place as punk rock, because they're both like looked on, at least in beginning stages, as like outcasts and like being punks. So I feel like there's some similarities there. But if you want to check out, there's two videos from Zion I and the Grouch, and then you also picked a Dead Prez video. So stay tuned, and we'll be back. But enjoy these videos until then.